Hey y'all, Shonda here, and I wanted to bring you guys another class conversation. Um, and it's just conversations and topics that when I see a pattern coming out and showing up, whether it's through the wellness, um, ancestral wellness readings that I do, or my private um, healing movement sessions, or when I'm teaching classes, if I notice that Spirit and the ancestors are sharing kind of some of the same themes, uh, even in my own meditations and healings. I want to hop on here and share it with y'all for anybody who needs to hear this. And so this week, everybody is like on their abundance and expansion tip, right? Like I want more for myself. I deserve more. I want to manifest more. I want to expand. I want to get uncomfortable and reach all the heights and depths of my potential and all the things, which is like, yes, let's all be out here getting our abundance and our expansion. Abundance is our birthright, right? But there's other things that happens in that process that spirit and the ancestors want us to be very clear on and to not ignore, right? And so the thing is, when we are leaning into our abundance and when we are um, tapping into wanting more and expanding ourselves, that when you welcome that energy, that high vibrational energy of abundance and expansion into your body, understand that that energy in order for it to expand, in order for your body and your spirit to be able to receive it, that we also are going to have to face any issues that we have with scarcity and lack. Right. So it's like when the abundance and the expansion is trying to like, mm, mm, hey, girl, hey, and get all comfy in the body. It's going to be trying to get in those nooks, in those crannies of the wounds that you have, even if you've already worked on scarcity and lack. If there's anything, anything around scarcity and lack that needs to be moved out, those things are going to start coming up for you. So those um, situations and Scarcity and lack is, with spirit, thank you, with scarcity and lack, it goes, yes, it's around money and your relationship with money and your definition and perspective of money, but scarcity and lack spreads beyond that too. Like scarcity and lack goes towards our relationships. Like if you feel like there's a scarcity of good friends, if you feel like there's a scarcity of whatever type of romantic partner that you want, if you feel like there's a scarcity in job opportunities, if you're moving with this subconscious uh, wiring or subconscious like programming or narrative you know, that you may not even be wanting to face you over here getting all wrapped up in your expansion and your abundance. But if you start having these thoughts and feelings of like, I don't know, <gasps> we'll see. That scarcity and lack coming up, that needs your attention too. Don't feel it and see it and then you ignore it because you only want to focus on what makes you feel good. The only way the abundance and the expansion is going to comfortably, thank you, is going to comfortably stretch out in your body is if you face the things that are still connected to the issues and the wounds and the negative energy that's still in your body and your spirit when it comes to scarcity and lack. You got to face it. You have to face it. You can't ignore it. It's not that the abundance, thank you. It's not that the abundance and the expansion is going to like go away because now you focus on scarcity and lack, but you got to know what's there. You have to know what your issues are in order for you to be a safe space for abundance and expansion to stay. Because then you could get it, but because you don't know all of you and you don't know what else you might need to work through and then you're not taking the time to do it, you're going to lose it. You got to be a safe space for abundance and expansion to settle in. Like it got to, you got to, it got to be ready to feel good. But if, if it's not a safe space, if you don't think, if you truly, truly don't think or feel that you're worthy of it, it don't matter what you keep telling yourself. You have to tell it to yourself and you have to do the inner work. You have to do the work in your body and the work in your spirit so that it can be in alignment, so that you can be in alignment, so that you don't self-sabotage it and lose it. So, yes, abundance and expansion, let's get it, let's go. But also notice those small things or big things. Notice whatever comes up in your mind or in the way you behave or in the situations that are presented to you as a lesson to show you what things you need to tighten up around your scarcity and your lack mindset. 
do your affirmations, do your rewiring, but also do your spiritual healing. Go, go ground in the earth. Let the earth take that negative energy out. Go get your herbs. Go get your crystals. Call in your ancestors if that's how you move, right? And heal those wounds around scarcity and lack. So when the abundance and the expansion that you are out here like aggressively and beautifully manifesting, when you call it, it's a safe space and it can stay. All right? So happy healing. Happy healing. Face it. Face it. Face it. So that everything that you want and everything that you are praying and calling into your life so that that energy can feel safe with you and so that you can feel truly worthy and deserving of it so that you don't give it away and that you don't self-sabotage yourself out of the entire situation. All right. Happy healing, y'all.